Hey guys, it's Mikey's Mind here, uh, back again with another review. Um, this, uh, the next two reviews are going to be a kind of back-to-back -back, um, review uh, by the same author. As the title suggests, um, I've gone with uh, Ian McEwan, and the first one I'd like to review is on Chesil Beach. Um, this is the very first McEwan book that I've ever read, and um, a bit like with Stephen King, I suppose, I was somewhat ashamed and frustrated that I'd only just discovered this author. Um, I read this book a while ago, and I've been waiting to do the review. It's absolutely brilliant. It is superb. And I say that about a lot of books, but I think I just enjoy reading in general. But this really, really, really did capture my attention. Um, it's made me want to read a lot more McEwen. I immediately read another Ian McEwen book straight after this one and had just as much shock and awe and, and, and interest uh, as with this one. So on Chesil Beach, um, uh, Chesil Beach is about two, um, two young uh, lovers, Edward and Florence. It's 1962. They are, um, they've just been married and they are, uh, they're at a hotel in Dorset, sort of south, southwest England. Um, they've just been married, they arrive at the hotel and they're beginning the first night of their married lives. Um, and they, it, the, the, the novel uh, primarily focuses just on that one night on Chesil Beach at the hotel and how they um, struggle to consummate their marriage essentially. Now I will say this, there will be some spoilers and I will also say that Ian McEwan as an author doesn't seem to shy away from anything uh, graphic or sexual or intimate and and he really uh, what impressed me most was how he how he can focus on the minute detail that's what really impressed me most uh, about Ian McEwan's style so far so there Edward is is kind of young and 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 he's I would say he's kind of like sexually motivated he's he wants to consummate the marriage he wants to um uh have that intimate moment with his with his new wife and his wife Florence, she seems younger and she seems um, more uh, hesitant, more conservative, more more um, just uh, she's she's not as comfortable. She's not as confident. She's not as comfortable. She's uh, I wouldn't say a prude, but she she's not um, she's not as confident as him. She's not as sexually comfortable as Edward. Um, and there's a clash. And and what fascinates me most is that uh, they they. They're kind of, it's 1962, so they're coming out of sort of post-war, maybe a, 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 um, they're not quite in the 60s yet. They haven't had that sort of sexual liberation and, and they're, they're just not there. And I, I, I wanted to take these two young, um, this young married couple and kind of shake them and just tell them it's okay, you're fine. Just just trust each other and, 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 and respect each other and love each other you've got this, you're okay. And they just seem so wound up and, and confused and stressed and frustrated and, and they've got such mixed emotions. And communication's a massive issue for them. And I, I, well, as soon as I read it, I, I said to myself, every young couple should read this book. Every youngster should read it because I think it just shows um, the importance of patience. It shows the importance of respect, mutual respect, um, taking your time and just learning someone's needs uh, as, as much as thinking about your own and that's that's really where I think the book is most important um, so it focuses mostly on their wedding night there's a fascinating little scene where um, a waiter um, sort of room service brings dinner and the even the act of eating uh, the waiter the waiter the the um, room service attendant uh, he uh, butler I guess of some sort he he waits at the door he stands um, at the door uh, while they eat and, he, and he's kind of watching them eat and even the act of eating publicly is uncomfortable and, and they're unsure how to eat and which knife to pick up and which fork to use and how to and, and I just seem to remember them being so awkward in so many ways and you just like I said you just want to shake them you just want to tell them look you're okay enjoy this moment this is your wedding night um, just believe in each other and, and you're okay um, like I said there will be some spoilers and, and the reason for that is because I think I like to I'd like to discuss this one in a bit more depth and and if you don't want to know how the novel ends, um, maybe maybe come back to this video at a later date once you've finished the book for yourself. But um, yeah, so they 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 um, they're rowing, they're arguing. Um, they have a sort of sexual mishap, um, a kind of a kind of false start, I would say. And they they end up on the beach. The the argument kind of takes them to the beach, and the last sort of 10% uh, of the novel focuses on the rest of their lives so what became of them after this after this night on the beach and they just I think they just get it wrong they don't have enough patience or enough determination or enough control of the situation to really succeed so 
uh, she says to, he, he starts to accuse her of lying in her vows. Um, that the fact that she won't take him as a as a sexual partner, um, he, he accuses her of being a sort of fraud, a liar, and it's such a harsh. It's such a. It comes from a place of frustration. It comes from a place of embarrassment on his part. He's sexually embarrassed, and I think it's it's a complete melting pot of emotions and. You want to sort of relieve them of both of that. You kind of think that as young as young lovers, as a happily young married couple, they don't deserve this moment, and and it's born out of frustration and confusion, as I said. Um, she offers him the chance to sleep with other women. She says, "Okay, well, if I can't satisfy you, if if, if it's not me, then then perhaps you should um, use other women whilst remaining married to me." And he, and he and he can't think of anything more disgusting, and he's he's ashamed that she's offered it and I don't think she ever really intended for that to be a, an honest offer it I don't think she really meant it um but it just adds it adds so much fuel to these flames and I think they can sense their marriage falling apart in that moment and it's crazy because they've just got married they're just married and um she walks away she walks away and he doesn't follow he doesn't follow her and you want him to. You know that he should. This isn't about pride or egos or anything like that. Just go after her. Make it right. Say the right things. Take more time to take control of this situation. Don't allow this situation to take control of you and win. Um, they needn't have lost. They needn't have lost out here, I don't think. Um, I don't think the problems were terminal. I don't think it was It was completely over. I don't think it was a write-off. So, And he reflects back on it. And, and the last page of the novel is him... Um, seeing her walk away and knowing full well that had he just gone after her they could have made it work they really could have made it work and so that's that's what that's what absolutely blew my mind it kind of it teaches you a lesson in patience and and in respect and and swallowing your pride or just taking a taking a hit just to just to make it right just to make things work um putting your putting your ego and your and your own hang ups on on the back burner for a moment just to allow someone else to to breathe for a moment and become comfortable so that you can be yourselves um so a fascinating book it really did it, it gave me so many thoughts and ideas and and lessons and and uh it really it really blew my mind so i haven't i know it was remade it was made into a film recently and this book only came out in 2007 but it has just been uh, made into a film and i've not seen it yet um, but as I understand it, the film the film takes more time focusing on the rest of their lives, the, the impact uh, that this moment had on them as, as adults for the rest of their lives. So a really fascinating snapshot into, into an era, a, a period where um, perhaps we didn't have the emotional uh, vocab that we have now or the understanding or, or perhaps it's a gender thing or a... I don't know, but um, just just absolutely brilliant. So if you've read it, give me a shout in the comments. Um, if you plan to read it, uh, or if you've read any other McEwen that you could recommend, um, I will be doing a review on The Cement Garden next. That's the book I read next, and it's a shocking one. Um, again, McEwen is not afraid of going there. Um, so I uh, hope you enjoyed the review. Leave me a comment, and um, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you very soon. Take care.